<laughs> okay, before I start, I want to want you to excuse me for my hair looking crazy. I'm in the middle of taking out my weave. Um, and I already did one eye. So this is what it should look like at the end. This light, I don't know if it's the light or the camera, but it's giving it no freaking justice. Like, maybe if I step back. Compared to nothing, this is it. So this is just um, something that people wanted me to do. They wanted me to do a natural um, tutorial. It's simple. I started off wearing gold. So that's what I did. Gold and brown. Um, gold was my first eyeshadow. So um, it's pretty common. So if you have gold, go ahead and get it. And let's get started. I've already got my foundation. Like my whole face is done. You really just, I guess, can't see. I don't know if it's the computer or if it's the light. I don't know. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know. This is my first tutorial. I'm not sure how to do lighting and all of that other stuff. So, um, what I started off with is, ooh, janky, <laughs> um, a paint pot from MAC, and it's bamboo or something like that. Yeah. So, you just need a little bit, not a lot, like that much. I always wanted to do this. <laughs> People put their hand behind the thing and yeah, anyway. Okay. I'll go ahead and do your eyebrows too. Like I can't tell you enough. Like if you don't do your eyebrows, you might as well not put on any makeup. I hate when people do not do their freaking eyebrows. Like groom your eyebrows. If you don't do anything before you walk out the house, do your damn eyebrows. Okay. They just want to put that like just a little bit above your lid, like up here. Um, where's my brush? Oh, here it goes. I have the um 120 palette, and so I took this color right here. I usually don't use a highlight, but for the sake of the video, I mean, I'm using this one, the fourth over from the left, and apply that as my highlight. Really, I mean, highlights are optional. I don't use them on a regular day. I did for New Year's Eve last night, but any other time I wear makeup, I don't use them. Okay. Um, after that, I took a brush that's not very dense. Not very dense, meaning it's kind of loose. Not a tight brush. It's just kind of medium size. And I have a um, palette. Don't laugh at my palette because it's not full yet. Um, this is um, Embark by MAC. And you just take that and put it in the crease. And a little bit above the crease and just start working it up. I hope this does not go over 10 minutes. I'm going to be pissed because I don't know how to edit on the MAC. My boyfriend is letting me use the computer while he's out of town because he didn't want to leave it at the house. Um, so yeah, that's the situation, and I'm not familiar with these things, so, okay, then I took this other dark brown in the 120 palette, and it's this one that my finger's on, actually, this one, that dark brown, that's the fourth from the right, and I put that strictly just in my crease, not above, just like right there. Just to darken it up a little bit. Bam, boom. Then I took a very dense brush. It's like very tight and the brush is very, they barely move. And I took Amber Lights. By MAC. It's just the gold. It's all broken up, so I don't really want to tilt it over. And you put it strictly on your lid. Seriously, guys, give me any tips or suggestions as far as the tutorials go because, um, yeah, I just need help right now. And I'm only going to have this computer until the 5th. Today's the 5th. Today's the 1st, and I'm only going to have it until the 5th. So, I'm going to try and get in as much as I can, but we'll see how that goes. 
Next, what I did was I took that dark brown I used earlier, the one right here, and I just put it down here on the bottom lid. I mean, bottom water line, or you guys know what I mean. And I took that gold and I brought it down to about right there. Not all the way over, but to about right there. See? So your eyes kind of sparkle. Alright, take your blending brush and just blend up. I mean, I kind of already blended with the other brush, but I think it's just important to show you guys that you need to blend. If you don't blend your makeup, I'm going to come get you. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is add my eyeliner. I mean, I'm sure I don't need to show you guys how to do this, and you probably already know, but I'm using a different, I'm not using pencil. I'm using an angle brush, and I'm using a Bobbi Brown um, black paint, black ink in number one by Bobbi Brown. It looks like this on the inside. Well, I've kind of ran through mine. <sighs> It's my first time doing this on camera, so don't laugh at me. It's only my second time using it, though. I used it for the first time last night, the brush. And, yeah, it came out okay. I've seen girls do this on here, and they just do it with one swipe. <laughs> you see how long it's taking me. I I'd wing that too much and I want to take it off so I'm not a big fan of winged eyeliner on me I like it on other people but I don't like it on me it still looks winged doesn't it but whatever you don't have to wing it out then I put my mascara on you guys should know how to do that Put it on the bottom lashes. Yeah. And my thing lately has been pink lipstick. <laughs> I'm like really loving pink lipstick, but I don't know if I should do that with this look. Let's just see how it comes out. This is um narcissist, something like that. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's backwards, but whatever. Okay. And it's by NYX. Yeah. I just put a swipe of pink and a Sephora lip gloss in sugar and spice. I just mix the two. That's not too bad. Pink and gold. So, yeah. I don't know if you can see it that well. Should I turn my camera? Let's see. Okay, that's a little bit better. Okay, there we go. So yeah, I hope you guys like it. I hope it was easy and I hope you guys can follow it. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, suggestions, tips, funds, I mean, let me know. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Bye.